we have come such a long way in our understanding and treatment of HA. We've gotten so much better at developing drugs that are less toxic, more potent, less side effects, easier to take. Most new patients today will be treated with one pill a day. There are even options for patients who can take one pill a day now. There are, uh, there's a new treatment that's an injectable, long-acting uh, combination of two drugs that were developed in what we call nanosuspensions. So they're given in a big concentration, two shots in the butt every two months. And there are many options in the types of pills. There are multiple types of one-a-day pills, depending on patients' other medical problems, whether they have stomach um, acid protection, have to be on certain medications that would interfere with the drug. So we can really tailor our treatment to patients today to make it easy uh, to be successful in controlling their HIV. And most patients who start on treatment do get to undetectable. And the CDC has just defined that if a person with HIV has an undetectable viral load, that means the test that measures active replicating virus in the bloodstream can't pick up any virus. That really equates to being non-transmissible or non-contagious. So the chance of spreading HIV is decreased significant. People who are in the population where they have engaged in high-risk sexual behaviors, multiple sexual partners not using protection consistently, they can take a pill preventatively called PrEP. We've seen the studies have shown it is very effective in preventing transmission of HIV in these situations where we have high-risk behavior. The really good news, too, about HIV today is that we do not see babies being born with HIV anymore because all women who are pregnant get tested for HIV. And we do pick up some women that way who didn't even know they were positive until they got pregnant. But the good news is that because we can treat pregnant women, we can prevent babies being born. It's still advisable for patients with HIV to see an HIV specialist. Um, they, they can get most of their care through their primary, but at least you know, twice a year come see a specialist because the specialists keep up with all the new medications, uh, nuances, um, you know, pitfalls of drugs, things to watch for as far as possible adverse effects.